Faith can move mountain. Radio Maria 91.3 FM. The voice of truth. Amazing, darling, wonderful listeners of Radio Maria 91.3 FM. The program again now. What is it called? The dining room. The dining room. So when you hear the dining room, you will think that you want to fry, uh, want to popcorn, um, fry stew, boil rice. What's that Lupe's village soup? Okoho, okoho. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that is not what it's about. This is a program that is specially designed. Program crafted for the CMO and CWO. Like the last time we told you that CWO simply means Catholic Women Organization. If you add the N, Nigeria. CMO, Catholic Men Organization. And the other time we had somebody say there is Catholic Father Association. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't know what is obtainable in other parishes, whether it's same like that. So this is the program where you hear, you know, the discussions about how the CMO, the CWO, come in to collaborate to support the church just so that things will go as they are supposed to go and not just the church the same way they collaborate to help one another grow spiritually economically political wise anything <laughs> but in all anything that makes you live a good life here on earth and still be able to make heaven which is the ultimate goal and like we said to you, and we we'll continue to say, this program is yours. There will be time for you to call in. And when is that time? Please do us the honors and the favor of turning down the volume of your radio set, or you walk away completely. And if you want to hear that, your beautiful voice, we always post our program, share or post our program on our YouTube channel. And if you are not, if you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Like my Christy will say. What are you doing, doing with your data? data. Yeah? Subscribe. Mm. Radio Maria is a wonderful radio station. Mm. And we have a lot of content. So when you subscribe, you see those content there. And do well to follow us too, because we are on every other social media page or handle. We are decently social, reasonably social, intellectually social. What does mm. this mean? That when you go to, whether it's YouTube, it's Instagram, it's Twitter, you will find amazing programs that will not offend your sensibility. You'll be able to learn. And when you learn, you'll be able to share. That is how amazing it is. So in the studio, huh, you're going to be hearing, everybody go do an introduction. Okay, make I switch to my other people. Good evening, Ibo. For the Lupe people, Benue. And they will be asking me, what did this Benue do you? Why are you tell like this Benue? Okay. Then I say, Sanuo, it goes for everyone, you know, from the northern zone. For the ones when they speak Yoruba. <laughs> then for those, my village people, Mogo Day. Then, Oga, just greet your people in your language. Okay, Ola Neo. <laughs> No. Oh, oh, no. No. Okay, okay. Yeah, I get that. And you know, there will be time, like we told you, there will be time for you to call in. Just let us know the program on the discussion. If you have questions to ask, the person is here. You're going to be hearing, you know, the introduction. Ask your questions, make contribution. How is it going in your parish, the CMO? Because today we're going to be taking specially the CMO. All right, dear brothers and sisters, welcome to the dining room. And tonight, my name is Brother Nandi Obiechen. I'm with me in the studio. It's one Jane Aboidoya. Please don't forget the word Aboidoya. Mm, we have our <laughs> special guest in the studio, Sir Samson Ebuno Haruna, KSJI. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much for having me this night. This man is married to a very beautiful elegant woman a lady patience ajanigo haruna welcome thank you very much good thank to you. see you all you're right welcome, you're welcome sir having said that dear brothers and sisters i want you to know that men men are the carriers of god's blessings 
men are the carriers of God's blessings. Now, they, are, they have so much responsibilities allotted to them by the Lord that if you allow them to carry out these responsibilities, you will be better for it. If you go through the scriptures, you'll find out that Abraham, when it was his time, he has to lay hands and bless his son. And then they, they, he, gave, he gave gifts to his uh, people that worked with him, gave them plenty of things. But to his son, he gave blessing. The same thing happened to Isaac. When it was time, he decided to lay hands on the, on the son. Jacob did the same. And, then, and by each time the blessings of God landed on any of these ones, they never, the blessings come from the father to land on these children. Every good thing the Lord has for the father is transferred. In fact, the greatest inheritance a man, a person, a child can get from, the, 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 um, from God is from the father. If your father opens his mouth to uh, lay a blessing on you, you are truly blessed. If your father, even when your father is weak and he cannot bless you or encourage you or to thank you, perhaps maybe he's, uh, he's uh, sick or crippled or he cannot talk, his spirit goes ahead to bless you when you take care of this man. So it's important that we, we learn that blessing comes from the fathers. That's why if a, if a man has a good wife, such a man uh, can do great things anywhere and everywhere. Any, anytime you see a man doing great things, it's because the Lord has blessed him with a wonderful woman that supports his ministry. Bible says that will make you a help meet. And then because he knows that a man carries a lot of loads on his head. And then sometimes men end up um, carrying so much load to the point that they, 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 they don't, they don't they forget that they are human beings men you are still human and then you do not need to uh, carry so much load that you cannot express yourself sometimes uh, it, it won't be out of place to even cry if you want to cry cry <laughs> so that you can live uh, live healthier that's why women live longer so if things get so heavy for a woman she will just nice. open her mouth and release her tears it goes but a man will just be there then, mm. 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 And instead of you to express yourself, say it the way it is. Cry. Open your mouth. Talk to God. Go to God in prayers. Lie down on the listen and talk to God. And they cry to God. If you cannot cry to any other person, cry to your maker. At the end of the day, you are relieved. You, you are better. But I like I, I want to encourage you, dear brothers and sisters, to please bless your fathers. If you Bible says. Honor your father and your mother so that your life will be long. And it's the word was that saying. is the only, uh, uh, con I mean, the only commandment that comes with, uh, con uh, uh, with blessing. That if you honor your father and your mother, your days will be long. So I want to encourage you, if you have a father, if you have a father you are, or a father figure in your life, you are still lucky. Why not go ahead? Even if you do not have money to share with your father, let your father know that you love him. Let your father know that you appreciate him. Let your father know that you do. If you can do that, believe me, his spirit will bless you. And if you open his mouth and say, I bless you, and that, uh, and, and that will come on you. And that brings me to the point where some men out of anger has cursed their children or called their children names. You are stupid. You are an idiot. Please, if you have ever said this, go to God in prayers and come back and begin to renounce all those things because you are a prophet over your children. You are you you, you have a divine calling that if you do not if you do not uh, uh, manage it, then you will end up seeing what you have pronounced with your mouth. It was what I say, what I hear you say. That is that is what I would do unto you. May God give us the grace to respect our fathers respect our mothers, and love them. And then, uh, wives, finally, I want you to know something. If you want to get the best out of your husband, 
Just let him be the husband. Eh? How? Let your husband be the husband. Let him be the man in the house. Do not try to take the work that belongs to him. Even if he's not financially vi uh, vi I mean, uh, uh, doing well at the moment, please don't disrespect him. Love your husband, respect him, and honor him. And then if you have good advices to, to give, don't push it down his throat, even when he doesn't understand you at that moment. But I, 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 I have a wonderful woman at home, and she will say, she will come in and suggest, she knows that this is the right thing. You know? And she will know that the idea she's bringing is better at that point. You know? And she will say, baby, I'm thinking, um, will you why not look at it this way? If I want to suggest you try, if you if you think it's okay, you do it. But if you if you don't think it's okay, then um, just forget it. And she comes with a wonderful idea. And then there and then I will adopt it peer and implement and it becomes a good idea. When you see someone acting out and then you say this one is an intelligent and a wise man, you won't know that it's a product of two minds put together in one and the man is in implementing. So ladies, even when you are uh, more intelligent, you are wiser or you think you have a wise uh, a superior, uh, wise cancer, please, a superior idea. Don't force it down and then try to put your head. And I, I, I don't know why I even married you. You, 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 as, are you not such a fool? If you ever say it, you just finish. Even if that thing is the wisest, the man will say, uh, that is over. Having said this, dear brothers and sisters, our, our program tonight, um, uh, we have on our studio, the Adasansi M, Abuja Adasansi M of President and his beautiful wife. So we're going to be asking questions and then understand a few things. Uh, um, at this point, I would like us to play um, Sweet Mother for the wonderful CWO and wonderful women of our church. Amazing listeners, darlings of Radio Mara 91.3 FM. So you're welcome back. And we are glad that you still stay here with us. <laughs> she don't switch to our village language. <laughs> that is to show you that this um, program is all inclusive. Yeah, whether it's your language you want to speak, you feel speaker. <laughs> whether not pigeon, the whether not the one where you go, you know, they talk through your nose, rah, 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 ah, like do sometimes. So, my word, oh, yeah, you can any way that you want to communicate with us. <laughs> so, when you call, feel free. Don't say, I don't understand the English when they talk, so I don't feel ask my question. If not like this, you want to ask the question, or you still want to make your contributions, <laughs> please feel free, go ahead. Yeah, so, sir. Ebunu, Samson, Haruna. Oh, very melodious. <laughs> you're anyway, welcome anyway, again. Anyway, my want to be put it. Um, yeah, so you're welcome again. Can you tell us? Um, for the record, yes. Sa Samson, Ebunu, Haruna. Okay, it's not Arun Ebunu, it's Ebunu. Ebunu. Yes, Haruna is the surname. Okay. Samson is the baptismal name. Mm. Ebunu is the Igala tribal name. I'm okay. an Igala by tribe. Mm. Oh, nice. So, like that strong man in the Bible. Yes, you yes. <laughs> Beautiful. So, I know you've just said that you're an Igala by tribe and you greeted your people. Is it Ola Ne, you said? Ola Ne, good evening. I said Ola Ne to emphasize the fact that, yes, I. I'm greeting them all oh, so okay. that you know that yes. Uh, and like uh, I said, more good deal. So uh, tell us, beyond that, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am Sam Sinigunu Haruna, just like I said, the Adasan president of CMO. Um, before becoming the Adasan president, I was a two time parish president in Sacred Heart, mm. also a deanery president, wow. and then also I became um, the treasurer of the Adasan CMO. Before becoming the Adasan president, wow. and then presently I'm the second vice president of Abuja Provincial CMO. Wow! Mm. Wow! Wow! Okay. And also to my by profession, I'm a teacher. Wow! Oh, no wow. wonder you are telling me okay, you learn with us. Too. Ah, so you know one of these that we should have you now. Yeah, yeah I will. I will. And I will. It's, no, I know. And and it's so amazing that you know we called on you. You know all the way because when you say um sacred heart. You know, there's a sacred heart in my village, okay, okay. yeah, parish in my village, so it's good that you it's let them know Lala. where exactly. Yeah. So you see that, you know, we're so honored, it's a privilege for us, for you to honor 
this invitation coming all the way. We called on you. You didn't go say it twice. Thanks, the distance thanks and for all that. Me, yeah. yeah. So now, what is the origin of the Catholic Men Organization? Um, the Catholic Men Organization is an arm of the tripod of the church, of the family of uh, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Okay. We are the men from the branch of uh, Joseph. Joseph. And as such, the Catholic Men Organization is canoni canonically constituted during the Vatican II Council. Okay. It was agreed that the church should be divided into three main organizations. Okay. And as such, we have the organization for the men, mm. for the women, and for the youth. Oh. Okay. And as such, the church have the men who are married mm. as the Catholic men mm. organization, mm. and the CWO who are married as the Catholic women organization, mm. while the unmarried youth are Catholic youth organization. Yeah. And this particular decision is domesticated in every country. Like in Cameroon, they call them the Catholic Men Association. Okay. That's what the career CMA. Mm. Why in Nigeria it becomes a Catholic Men uh, Organization? Mm. So they have it the way they want to they apply it. And that's why we have a CWON, mm -hmm. a CAMON. Mm -hmm. But in Abuja, we call ourselves the Abuja Under San Catholic Men Organization. Mm. So it has been in existence for a very long time. And um, as it is, it is for baptized adult Catholic men mm -hmm. who are married mm -hmm. in the church. Mm -hmm. Although there are some who are not married to whom, but because they are men, mm -hmm. they don't want to belong to the youth mm -hmm. because of their age, mm -hmm. they still belong to the, the, the Catholic men uh, organization. And then we have our slogan, a slogan as said, uh, CMO Christ is our leader. Mm -hmm. Initially, they were saying killers. Killer. You know, when they, that one, they were saying killers. It became um, a thing that, okay, we are pillars, but they're not really seeing the effect of that pillar. <laughs> and then the, the, the leaders of the church at the national level sat down to say, no, let us look at it biblically mm -hmm. and then come up with a proper slogan by saying, Christ is our leader because mm -hmm. we are drawing our inspiration, our leadership, and our strength from Christ. Christ. And as well as we're able to live the life of Christ, mm -hmm. who sacrificed himself for the church, for the men to sacrifice their life for their families. Wow. So we now adopted Christ is our leader. Uh, uh, sorry, let me ask uh, a question from there. You said they were not seeing the effects of the people. Yeah. So why? The reason how? is that the seed of blue had been on ground. It's from from yeah. creation, mm. God was in a hurry to create man. Mm. And when they created women, <laughs> it took his time to create women. And in taking women, taking time to create women, everything about women is very special. Mm. And for wow. women, just like Brother Nam <laughs> said at the beginning, I during the intro, <laughs> that the men carry so many things in their head, yeah. and we are pushing so many things. And they will be doing all that shit. When it's time to cry, they won't cry. And as such, the importance in the heart of the men is so much yeah. that when you talk about coming to organize yourself mm -hmm. and be together as mm. men, it's always very, very difficult. Yeah. We are thinking of this, thinking of that. Mm. So and as such, uh, people were at a point where ridiculing the men. I feel like, where are the people? <laughs> so the slogan was changed yeah. uh, to, uh, to, to crisis our leader. Yeah. Uh, exactly. If we are pillars, we can be working for the exactly. Now, you see, you see, uh, oh. you see uh, this, one of these comedians, one of these comedians I was yeah. watching, uh, he said, is there anything women do is so special? It's so special, yes. He said, go to the Bible. You know Zechariah. Mm -hmm. Zechariah, when the angel visited him, and then I, he said, how would this happen? Mm -hmm. The angel got angry. I just <laughs> But the woman <laughs> must ask questions. But when, when, when the angel said, how can this be? And then the angel now answer, yes, the power of the Holy Spirit will be upon you. And, and, the, and that was the same question that, that the, the man, man asked. asked. The and, man then, asked. Then, the and, then, asked. and then he got his mouth shut and he became tough. No, no. The same question, but the man asked. And then he was answered freely. And, and all that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like he said, he said, women, they go to them. <laughs> them. So, everything about them is special. Oh, yes. And then, I, I just, it's on a, on a yeah. lighter note, uh, women women mm. has really done well in the church. Mm -hmm. Their the ability to organize themselves has been wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honestly, mm -hmm. So, you we, are, take that we truly them. appreciate yeah. our women. Yeah. Yeah. And then, just, just, just the way they organize our homes, because mm -hmm. you remove a woman from a home, a man is disorganized. It's just a house. Completely. Mm -hmm. It's just a house, mm -hmm. not a home. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, yes. you know, there's a difference between a house and, and a, a home. home. Yes. Yeah. So, so broadly, that um, that is the you know origin how it started. But um, 
how about you know the set of this of the city of you in the arch diocese when did this actually take effect okay um, did it come CM, to be? CM of w. oh you see because we're talking about women Child. Uh. <laughs> oh, CMO. okay yeah. let's take it from cmo um yeah. cmo itself uh, um it's an organization so like i said mm -hmm. and it strives to promote good moral values and spiritual growth of the mm -hmm. men through what through prayers worship involvement in pastoral activity and then in the archdiocese mm -hmm. it, that's why i said everything about women is always very special mm -hmm. you see the the history of the mm -hmm. uh, of the of the cmo in the art diocese mm -hmm. uh, though uh, uh, part of our plan is to make sure that before the end of this tenure we are going to write a book on the origin of the CMO in the art house. Okay. Let me shock you. About seven, 18 years ago, when His Eminence, John Cardinal Onaikon, was to host the Bishops' Conference in Abuja, okay. he had to set up a committee. And in that committee, the chairman of the Lady Council of the Art Diocese, mm. Sir Peter Okolo, mm. and his secretary, uh, Sir Hilary Piakwam, mm. and then the then CW president, mm. and some other parish leaders who have drawn together. Mm. And at that meeting, the Archbishop now was calling for support towards hosting the bishops. Mm. And the CW did what? They brought money to support mm. <laughs> the, the, his eminence. Mm. And he now said, where is the CMO? Mm. Then what happened? You know, challenge Sir Peter Okolo. Mm. Oh, you are here as the Lady Council Chairman, but where is the CMO? Mm. Wow. An organization of the church, a branch of the church. That was what actually challenged them to do what? Going to start organizing how to form wow. a CMO in the Wow. Wow. So they set up a caretaker committee mm. that worked for three months mm. to see how they can draw all the parish chairmen of the Lady Council giving them a match in order to bring one one man, one one man mm. from each of the, yeah. the, the parishes mm. so they can start forming the, the CM with the art houses. Mm. And then after that, they now organized an election that brought about, that brought uh, the first art house some person, the person of a uh, uh, late uh, brother, Ben Sinagora. Okay. He was the first president of the art houses. Okay. After that, we had Fufunye, mm. then later, um, 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 Masio Koribe. Mm who now became the adult son president. Mm. He sat for five years under um, Father Achangwa as the chaplain. Mm -hmm. But within that five years, after his first tenure, as he, was, as he transited into the second, um, second uh, tenure, mm -hmm. there were crises and there were issues. Mm -hmm. And then his eminence decided to do what? Suspend the ECMO mm -hmm. in Abuja. Mm -hmm. Yes, for over a year oh. in, from 2016. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then by 2017, he decided to lift that ban, that suspension, mm -hmm. by forming a caretaker committee mm -hmm. that was led by barrister Joseph Daramola. Oh, okay. Yes, who worked assiduously, making sure with with the mandate of conducting an election yes. to come up with fresh executives of the Art Diocese CMO. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was in 2017. Okay. Then there was an election at Pro Cathedral, mm -hmm. Our Lady Queen of Nigeria Pro Cathedral. Then within that period, um, the, the, his eminence gave us a new chaplain, in okay. person of very, very, very father, a Boniface in Kenya, okay. who was to work with a, 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 a very, very father, Roland Wakuda, mm -hmm. who was the then vicar pastora. Mm -hmm. So two of them working together with um, a barrister Daramola mm -hmm. to organize an election to come up with fresh executive. Mm -hmm. And then what did they do? They decided to contact the six dinaries. Then we have six dinaries. Mm -hmm. And then asking us to come with six, six delegates from each of the dinaries mm -hmm. to conduct the election. Okay. And then mm -hmm. at that election, Brother Peter Emmanuel Onoja, mm -hmm. my, the, the person that handed over to me, okay. became emerged as the president of uh, mm -hmm. the Adasan mm -hmm. Catholic Men Organization. And in this emerging, because of the, the issues of the past, mm -hmm. which the leaders of the church then decided to take note of and then suspended the, the second tenure of Okori Grave. Mm -hmm. Now we have to. Then I, I was I was elected as a treasurer under him. Mm -hmm. So there was a need for us to rebuild it, the CMO again from scratch, mm -hmm. without a pen, without no bio, no mm -hmm. money, no. We mm -hmm. had to start from the scratch, mm -hmm. and as such, because of the transparency, mm -hmm. and then loyalty to the church, which was the the major uh, focus of uh, uh, Peter Onoja, the man of Peter Onoja then. Mm -hmm. We decided to start working from the scratch. Wow. And to the glory of God, we were able to push the CMO on ground. Mm. Peter Onoja did very well. 
he would have done second tenure, but within that period was when the CBCN okay. directive came that mm. one single tenure of four years yeah, you go. Yeah. Okay. So the other judge did his four years, and then mm. we had an election in 2021. Then I emerged as uh, the president of the CMO. Wow. And because of the good legacies and the things I has planted, we worked together, and I was his treasurer. Mm -hmm. Because the transparency was straight. Mm -hmm. What we see, what we did was that no payment of cash. Every transaction to the bank, mm. every expenditure we take from the bank. So it wow. was very, very clear. Even that is what we are doing now. Nobody gives us cash. Mm. Everything goes in there and it comes out. Mm. So with that, you have clean, straight accounting system, money going in and coming out. Mm. So Onoja planted that and we are built upon. Wow. If you can see that beautiful uniform we are having, mm. he was the one who was doing his time that that new pattern came up and we have sustained that. During this our tenure, we have produced five batches of uniform. Wow. This morning, we shared over 2,000 uniforms in Sacred Heart. Wow. The, all the parishes came to collect mm -hmm. their uniform. So all the payments go into the bank, nobody collects cash, and it mm -hmm. comes out. So Onoja actually planted that foundation after the problems of the past, and yes. we have been working towards that. Now we have a very wonderful chaplain, in front of, uh, very reverend father, um, uh, Christopher Damina, PhD, mm -hmm. the parish priest of CKC. Wow. A very nice man who gives us that direction. So you see him in the art houses, by the grace of God, we have come to stay, and um, by the, we, we have come to stay, and God has made, given me that privilege of being the president mm. from Guagualada. Mm. At least you invited him from Guagualada. Yeah. Yeah. So I am doing the best that I could. I remain mean, yeah. two years now for me to finish my tenure. Mm. CBCS, after four years, we go. Mm. But at least we'll be able to leave something behind mm -hmm. so exactly. that whoever comes after us will, exactly. uh, will uh, continue. Wow. But from all this you've just said, you see, it doesn't matter the years that you've been on ground, but you're doing well. The, the transparency, the, the financial transparency for me is very, very key. Yeah. Because, for example, you had some other associations that have been there, you know, years and decades before you. And the major thing they are still not able to settle is that part of financial. You know, finance is always the engine room of yes. every organization. Yes. And it's even because of finance that, you know, some persons, they will say it's because of finance, they want to come back again. Mm -hmm. uh, they will ask, what is your interest? What is your interest? Mm -hmm. Because there are some persons, if you look at them, this is not being biased and all that. There are some persons that they would not like to do anything except there is the bag there. You know, yeah. like the youth will say, secure the bags. Ah. So, so, sorry, let me, let, me, let me give you this information too. Mm -hmm. When uh, Onoja came on board, mm -hmm. we decided to embark on insurance for our members. Mm -hmm. When you're talking about mm -hmm. finance and mm -hmm. welfare, mm -hmm. we embark on, on, on insurance for our members. During the course of his tenure, nine of our members died. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the insurance company that we... We, we engage, mm. gave them their families one, one million. Mm. Just last Sunday, that we had our meeting at Asokoro, mm. my son at Asokoro, during my own tenure. One of our members who died, the <coughs> wife came here, <coughs> and we, we, the, the insurance company paid the, the benefits to her. Mm. So that that we have done is attracted a lot of men. Yeah. There was a time we went also embark on, 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 on empowerment. Mm. The seminars gave us a charge after mm. our election. Say, so, mm. look, be able to reach out to your men. Exactly. Women, you are contributing to the church, you are doing this thing. Think about yourself. And then mm. we did an empowerment. We were able to do, do fundraising. We got over 7 million. And mm. we decided to, in each of the dinaries, got people, not empowerment that will give you cash. Mm. If you are sewing, we buy you sewing machine. Yeah. If you are making shoes, we give you. If you, are, if you, are, if you have a, a, a car wash stand, we buy a yeah, machine for, for you. you. That was what we did. If you are, if you are a plumber, if you are a carpenter, furniture, we buy the tools. And we did it for so many of our members, mm -hmm. which has actually attracted people to us. And then we have also told our dinaries and parishes to also embark on it. Very recently, mm -hmm. Lube Dinari did their own. Mm -hmm. um, um, Kubo um, um, Dinari is about doing this. And then Karo Dinari will be doing their own on the 14th of, uh, of next month wow. in Karo. That we have told them to do, and at the other that somebody, we support them mm. with the funds that we have to say, okay, mm -hmm. go ahead and do this thing. Security. So we are also reaching out to our members with, within, within the means, with the little means yeah, that we have. Economic. Like I said, the CW have been on ground for a long time, mm. but we are going to get them at the risk mm. of God. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. we are going to get exactly. them at the risk exactly. of God. Now, now yeah. the, the most important thing is that you, you have the right, the right kind of leadership, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, because uh, everything starts and falls but in leadership. If you have good leaders, mm -hmm. they, 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 they are not there to 
just they they they, mm -hmm. they work with the vision and then they leave legacy behind yeah. so that the people that are coming after them you know, will, 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 will follow it and all yes. that and the one um some time ago um it will be became the governor of anambra state and before he left office the uh, anambra vision was crafted mm. 15 years vision or uh, was crafted that any person that enter power that that pick that vision you will start you will connect from where you started and then and then you 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 finish your tenure still doing great and mighty yeah. work and, and all that except somebody who doesn't want to work that if you drop if you drop the vision you and begin to craft your own within four <laughs> years you find out you are you are nowhere but you know great men think of the future they think of other people think of people ahead of them so that's that's what a uh, leadership can bring into and then i thank god for the kind of leadership the lord has uh, used you um uh, to continue the work abandoned projects is usually the problem uh, of problem nigeria of yeah, everywhere in nigeria so I, I thank god that your, your own there, there is no abandoned project no, 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 no. by the grace of god we we'll work to even surpass what he has done okay. because it's the first time in the art dance is that a, 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 a president will be going and is handing over oh. handing over money to the mm. income i start i took over for him with the sum of 3.5 million Wow. It has never happened before. He left in the account. Mm. Yes. And I told my, my escort, I said, we are going to leave more than that too mm -hmm. for those coming so that it will become a tradition. Yes. So that whoever comes, say, no, this is what did this to I shouldn't be financially reckless. Mm -hmm. And we do so many things to when we want to go to national meetings at times, we will not be able to go. We say, okay, let us sponsor only one person to go instead mm -hmm. of going with it. In order to be able to, to reserve money mm -hmm. in our account to be able to do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And most of the time there are thousands is the the the, the, the set up committees and we'll come and they so they, they just the recent uh, cbcn mm -hmm. we asked to make contributions for money mm -hmm. we had to go there and pull it out mm -hmm. good messages for this for that for mm -hmm. that you know we keep doing some of those things and during christmas we go and see the archbishop we see the, the july bishop his eminent we go and see them to be able to say okay thank you take mm -hmm. this and support your work you are doing exactly. so in some of those things we are really mm -hmm. trying to do to ensure that you know we sustain what has been built on ground Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, what are the attributes of a good Christian home? Mm. A good Christian home, mm. first of all, it must be a peaceful home. Mm. Peaceful home. Peaceful home. Wow. A home where communication is seamless. You need to be able to open your mind, mm. open your heart, to discuss issues in the home. Mm. Okay. It has to be a home that is charitable. Charitable within and outside the home. Mm -hmm. Because once there's no charity in the home, mm -hmm. definitely the home will not move smoothly. Charity in what way? Oh, madam will say, oh, I need this. Mm -hmm. I need that. Mm -hmm. And you will say, no, there is no money. Mm -hmm. You must have to provide that money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the children are going to school. They need this. They need that. You need to even you need to make sacrifices on your mm -hmm. own to make sure you provide for them. Mm -hmm. Instead of me buying data of 3,005, mm -hmm. and my son who is in the university will now call me, Daddy, I need funds. Mm -hmm. I want to do this. Instead of buying that data, I send him that 1,000, 2,000 naira. Mm -hmm. At that time, which would mean something to him. So mm -hmm. a Christian home must be a charitable home, must be very peaceful, must be very prayerful. So, sir, sorry. What you're saying now is that the 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 thing around, I cannot go and keep my session, not call me. It should not come in because, <laughs> okay. you, have, you, have, because you have the responsibility of taking care of your family okay. as the man of the head of mm -hmm. the home. All right. mm -hmm. Joseph did it for Jesus. Mm -hmm. He did it for him. He made sure in the campaign, in his carpentry workshop, he was always nurturing the young man. And, and I'm sure the, the Bible did not write the entire story. Mm -hmm. There would be a time that uh, he was actually disciplining him and mm -hmm. doing so many other things for him mm -hmm. and even sacrificing with sleepless night mm -hmm. to making sure you provide for it. So a Christian home should be, should be peaceful, prayerful, charitable communication should be more in the home a place where meals are shared a place where bible is the food for the soul a place where truth trust and transparency prevail so let me let me come a yes. lot of men do not pray a lot of men do not pray what would you say about this um i'm very happy that at the beginning you said men carry a lot of load mm. they, they, they do a lot of things so 
uh, uh, that a, a lot of men do not do, they do not pray, you you are you are not completely wrong. Mm. You are right because mm. of the pressures mm. of the times. Mm. But having a wife who prays very well besides you, mm. whether you like it or not, they must inspire you to pray. They must push you to pray. Mm. So now, uh, now, now I actually want to because the word Bible says um uh is, is speak a parable to this end that men ought always to pray and not, not to faint. Do you know that someone carrying loads on his head will actually faint if the person does not make it a duty to be very, very prayerful? You know, because it is the Lord who can help you carry the load and all that. I, 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 I feel, I feel so bad that some men has allowed women to carry the responsibility of prayer. In fact, in fact you, the woman is meant to help you. The woman is meant to help you and not to take uh, the responsibility of being the pastor of a home. That That is the first parish priest. You are supposed to be the first parish priest. And your wife is assistant parish priest. And then you allow assistant parish priest to be the one they, that pray for <laughs> you and pray for every other person. So, And I thank God for, for women we have. Then, but I want to encourage men to rise up. And you know what? It is not because they don't pray. It's actually laziness. Yeah. So if you don't it's pray, lazy. you are a lazy man. Yeah. Having said this, we are going to open up the phone lines and then uh, and expect some calls to come in while we, we talk. The number to call is 081-084-475-18. I take it again. 081-084-475-18. Eight. So, you can call us. Hello, good evening. Your name, where you're calling from, I want some contributions, please. Hello. Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening. Your My name, name is Peter Emmanuel Onodia. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's hear your contributions, sir. First, I want to thank Radio Maria for the beautiful work you're doing. Thank you, sir. In Nigeria, especially for our archdiocese. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. I pray that the good Lord will continue to strengthen your people. Amen. Let me also congratulate my successor, the worthy successor. Wow. That's mm. the Sir Samson and a beautiful wife. Yes, sir. Thank you, Reverend. <laughs> you have done justice to the discussion in the studio. Mm. Let me ask here that any man that does not pray, has already opened the wall for the devil to come into his house. I hear you, sir. A man who prays, just like you said, first he's the priest of the house. He mm. takes charge of his family while the wife follows behind and the children become the altars of our son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for us to make progress in the house, we must pray always without season in and out. Mm. And once we pray, we see that things begin to fall in place for us. But once we don't pray, even if our wife prays for us, the burden will still be there and it will continue to wear us down. Exactly. So finally, I wish Radio Maria progress in life, for our Archdiocese more progress. And for both the Archdiocese and CM, especially for my president and all the executive and members, I pray that God will continue to increase them with wisdom and understanding and bless all the men in the Archdiocese. Amen. 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 Sir, so, so we want to appreciate you so much for the legacy you have left in our Diocese of Abuja and uh, for for the stretch records you've set in CMO in our Diocese. May God bless you. May your Amen. children reap the rewards of the blessings you have left for uh, the church in Abuja in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you, very much. Thank, you, thank you very much, my friend, my brother. Thank you, my president. He is the he is the national vice president of CMO. Oh, right Nigeria. now, yes. wonderful, uh, wonderful. Hello, good evening. Thank you. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, good evening, good evening. sir. Good evening, ma'am. Please, uh, I want to appreciate God for the life and I ask for you to follow. And the line is a bit distorted. Maybe you. Yeah. Okay. Are you hearing me? Yes, we can, can hear, hear you now. now. Yes, yes, sir. I say I appreciate God for the strength and wisdom He gives to you people today, and I ask God not to speak to preach to men. 
Amen. Thank you, sir. And again, since uh, I joined Grace Jones last year, and uh, I'm among of those who are praying tight every moment. First day, I lost my group, and I lost the account number. I need to find it. Okay. 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 Thank you so, very much. So, let, let me continue this for sure. Okay. We are talking about the uh, brother here asked about the book. Yeah. Yeah. So God has so men they know what God so that God is and I also appreciate God for those who know God. I told my wife one day that you don't know what God for it to make it or marry a wife that know and that know how to pray. Mm. Mm. That is of men as I to you not to concern them with God, but that is their follow their life. Mm. But that can never be it. That's good. Mm. Yeah. So I want to tell a big man to talk to us what is happening now. The man can die at any time. Mm. And God can give strength at any time. God can take over strength at any time. Mm. So, and again, see people wrong. Whatever you let a children know God. Mm. Whatever you are praying, never you pray silent. Call mm -hmm. family together. Mm -hmm. Pray together. Mm. Let them know God. Let them know why you are praying. Mm. You know that by God this day, the day I was with my daughter, of, my son of eight, four years, every time he told me that I think, and really, it's the God who was telling me, all of them are sure. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. And I want, to, I want to advise all men, pray together with their family, mm -hmm. this one second or one hour, mm -hmm. say something, mm -hmm. say something, say this something. Forget that we that born up in the charismatic type of people that did not born up in the first time. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I was I, I am very very appreciate my first time hearing this about the 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 God, and I also pray that God has opened people's eyes to know this, open other men's eyes to know this. Amen. Amen. And I pray that after everything, my brother, my leader here, heaven is at last. Amen. Amen. That is when we we'll never. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. You don't know. Journey of God is the earth in mm -hmm. And I pray that God will only send you a death to death. Amen. In the name of Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. And I also want to speak on the people. I'll speak about the people one on one. That is the day you are talking about charismatic that you are living in my brother. Mm -hmm. I want you to speak on the people so that I can speak one on one. I need to learn from you. And the last, that is the day you are talking about. What I first was in Wabala, I wanted to because he said, My baby, that I would not have. Okay, okay, okay. You, then, you know what? At, at, at the end of the destiny, you can just send a text message to us and then we'll reach you and then discuss um, personally one -on -one and then one on one, -on -one with you. God bless you. Because mm. we can't yeah. we really can't because people they have taken our people because of the Bible. Yeah, no Even I myself, I went to Uba to read this man, and when I got all of them, they are all present because I'm not can. Okay, no okay. problem, I went sir. To so, to read this man. all of them are present because I even okay. be here where I'm living, all of them are present. Okay, so why? And they can over teach me the gospel. Okay, right. so send a text message to this particular phone number with your with your number so we can reach you and even send you the account details of Radio Maria. So thank you so much for your contribution. God bless you. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, live. Yes. Yes. Well, my name is Ed from the Security Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm the head of the publications of the Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah I just want to appreciate our people who are in the Rico Forward Day in the school. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a lot of our men are listening to him, and listening up to the radio, and then I want to start with um, every confidence that they have made it appointed us mm. in the presentation of issues as they are. However, uh, I would have loved to hear more uh, from his wife, because um, 
She's, not, she's still going to talk. We just, she's still going to talk. She has some. No, she's going to say something. It's, it's because um, we just want your participation to let you know that it's an interactive program. You can talk to us even as we have spoken. That's why at some points we open the phone line. So she's still going to say something. We are looking to that we love our president and Thank you very much, Thank you. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. My name is Okay, sir. Okay. I want to appreciate my president there. Thank you very much. Thank you. For the good job you're doing, we are the same parish. Okay, oh. okay, Mr. Eze. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. You've really got a lot of fans. Yes, yes. You, you, you know what? I'm particularly happy because uh, this is not that killed me when I was the Hall Vice Chairman of the Eastern Pacific Council. Mm. Okay. And he brought out this challenge yes. about the part of the station. Mm. I remember in that meeting, I told you. My brother, joy your life mm. and start a business. Yes. Because in church administration, when you look back to what, you need focus. Mm. Mm. Whatever one has done, you pay God for this piece of what you are able to do well. So I thank God that he listened to me. And it's a very special friend. We have found with too many other friends. Committee to get it. And he was able to either be accepted. And luckily for me, he handed it over to my very good friend again. Okay. So uh, we are very proud of them. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank, you, Thank you so much. Uh, but when we are talking about men not playing, mm. it's actually very unfortunate. Because if you are a Christian, mm. you should know that. Every moment of the day, it should be important to God. Exactly. And I also recommend to all Christian families, mm. you must dedicate somewhere as an altar. Yes. If you don't leave your house in the morning, we start going there to seek the faith of God. Mm. And in the night, before you sleep, you have to go back there. To pick the face of God. Mm. And if you are not going for money, man, you mm. will gather your children, your wedding people, mm. to pay the road through a money prayer. Mm. That is the only way you can have confidence in God. Mm. And God will make a home. Amen. So, my brother, Sahana, and uh, my sister, Lady Helena, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Now, sir, um, because of our time, I'll 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 come to my dear sister. Yeah. <laughs> now, in, in, uh, when you came in, when you came in, uh, Jane, sister Jane kept looking and admiring the the beauty and then the. Aww. And I told you, <laughs> when I said is she up to 30, so, so, so I, I was, I was, I was, I now have to remind her that you are, you are not just a, a wonderful wife, but a child Terrible. of God. Yeah, Lord, so it's the to. glory that is so, radiating. So the glory that radiates. Tell me, how has it been in your marriage? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, there's no marriage that we don't have challenge but we thank God for everything yes um with the support of my husband um he's so supportive and um so caring yeah. Mm. yeah so with him the journey has been so beautiful wow mm. yeah. wow well, I love how many that years? Word. How many years is the journey now? We are twenty years in marriage. Wow! wow. 20, and you don't yes. even Madame doesn't look like someone that's twenty years in marriage. <laughs> <laughs> so young, yes. already. 
October will be 20 years. Wow. October is here already. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So how do you help to, you know, manage and balance? Because from what you said a little about him, is with someone who, mm. who would say has been donated to God. <laughs> you know the other time you know when we sorry man you know the other time when we had interview with um the charismatic one of the officials wife she said hmm, what i would say is it's better for your husband to be in the church than in the bar yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly so how do you get to have that balance it's, it's always from the beginning the when he became the parish president is all, it, before the parish president of it, then he was the communication committee, uh, committee chairman, chairman. person. Oh. So we are not always seeing him. <laughs> 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 we, go, <laughs> we go in the morning, before we see him, it's worse evening. Mm. So I've got used to the whole system anyway. Oh. The only thing I owe him is to continue to pray for him mm -hmm. since he has decided to do the work of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is no need pulling him down. Exactly. So we pray for him, for success and everything. And then you you make good use of the time you you have him around. So when when you when you have him around, so brother, yes. now let me ask you, how do you balance up? How do you make up for the times you have sent in the house for the family? Um, the way I make up for it is that apart from going for CMO meetings. Mm going for other church activity, mm -hmm. going for evening mass, mm -hmm. 7 o'clock does not catch me outside. Mm -hmm. I'm wow. always at home. Wow. Except like I'm here now, mm -hmm. when going back, I know it will be late. If mm -hmm. not, I don't spend time anywhere outside. if I am not busy for the church outside, exception of my home. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. That's, that's, that's wonderful because do you know that one hour with your wife and your, 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 your children, children yes. is one hour before they go to bed means a whole lot, lot to them yes a whole lot yes you know uh, there there is this absentee husband uh, thing that that is not really a wonderful thing absentee husband yes and i'm not talking about somebody who is who is busy if you are busy but try to create the balance, Time, yeah, balance yeah, so the family, it, it's, yeah. it's wonderful and then uh, sometimes even in a week, you need to create out a time. You can sometimes it, it might not be to do go out for whatever. You can you can just take a walk with yeah, your wife, that, and then you the take a walk out of the house, and then you walk down the street, and then and then if you have to be in the bar, what stops you from sitting down in the bar to take a, a, a soup with your wife? Yeah. And don't be on Kobe. Yes, yes. 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 Trying to make me uh, hungry, <laughs> and uh, please allow me to even finish this. <laughs> now, no, having said that, dear brothers and the brother and sister, we we are so glad to have you here. So it's been a wonderful time um, with you. I just want to let you know that we are going to be calling you very often from time to time. You you get back to to us in the studio and let's talk to our people, educate our people, and uh, there are lots of questions we still have for you, but. But because of time, we're not going to go through it. And then for those of you that, um, that are out there, you can actually send us some questions, some of the things you want you want answered. And then at another uh, time, we'll bring up some of these questions, and then they will clear your you. And then uh, CMO. And Christ is C our leader. Uh, Christ is CMO, our leader. CMO, Christ is our leader. Christ is our leader. Yeah. Yes. Good. And then CWO. Umbrella for women. Umbrella for women. Two Maria. 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 Is there a British CW is doing that? Yes. So they are special now. They are very. 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 They are
Because tomorrow now they'll go and say we two will be so up and down, we so white. White and carapo trouser because we men are doing better. I'm not dating for what I mess it up men out there. I bet more than I see my hand. If anybody copy the wife, you are totally <laughs> doing wrong. No, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so and the then, person cannot be like it to a woman rapper. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but we, are, we are not going to do makeup as men because our wives are doing makeup. I'm going to tie rapper and walk on the street. Now, 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 now uh, just on a sideline, mm. I tell you one of the things I do. I have two beautiful daughters and two be- handsome boys. Mm. And then we want the boys to do everything that is there to be in a house. Yeah. For instance, just... for instance, my my boys cook. And it's true. They make soup. I can attest they, to they, that. They do everything that and, and they, my, even my girls wash the car. They in fact yeah. they decide who takes what car and wash it at whatever and then clean up and all that. Because so that you don't say this one belongs to men and this one. Mm. At some point, it was a, a, a bit of a listen. And, uh, you know, if you don't know how to cook, you may not understand when a woman finishes making food yeah. and brings it. And you then you just, you just you touch and then you touch. But <laughs> when you make, if you know how to cook, when somebody brings out food for you, you will appreciate that exactly. woman for doing that. I, 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 so once in a while, once in a while, I'm a very busy person, mm. but once in a while, so mm. my wife, please sit on the on the bed, take your bath, sit down there, That's watch, you watch, your queen. watch, watch the, the, the movie. Let's the woman carry the remote. Make, I'm not the yeah, era I'll, make, I'll make you breakfast. Oh. I'll enter the kitchen to make breakfast. <laughs> and my children <laughs> join me and they want to eat that, that is that is breakfast. breakfast. And that day becomes wonderful. And everybody was like that. They want some more, you know, and things like that. So the children come to join me and we make breakfast. And it doesn't and make you less of a man. Yeah. And then, and then she feels very happy and all of that. And there's a little thing. Men, women are not expensive. Mm-hmm. They are, they are, they just want you to give them the attention. Mm-hmm. Love them. And if you show a woman that she, uh, that you love her, a woman brings out her heart and put in your hands, mm-hmm. and then you you will live a long life and a happy ma- man. That's what you're going to be, and you succeed in everything because their spirit will be praying and supporting you in everything. So I want to encourage men, please, if you want to live long and you want to be a happy person, please love your wife, respect your wife, and then not just love, show her that you love her, and let your children see that you love their mother. And if that happens, even in the old age, your children will never forget you for loving their mother and taking care of their mother. They will never play with you. But and finally, that goes for the women too, because we, everything we share here is mm, balanced. Yes. If you want to be happy and you find that peace and you don't want to go and be drinking medicine mm. afterwards, oh, mm. please love, respect, be submissive to your husband exactly. in the way that aligns with God because there are some submissiveness mm. don't ask about doing it. <laughs> mm. there are some submissiveness that is not real that yeah. is not in line with God mm-hmm. yeah that you know will offend God but go to God you act it's not like you just become a rebel and start wagging your head like a Pharisee sorry <laughs> <laughs> well, so but go to God yeah and ask even when the husband is trying to tell you do this and you know that it's not what Christ says. Don't rebel, but come and act. So it's both sides. Man, play your part. Woman, play your part. Man, love now, your wife. Now, now, because we 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 also a bit behind schedule. I I, I don't know. Um, Luke, can we still have a dance with my father? Yes. The one we signed out, right? Yes, yes. we're signing out. But we we'll want to a dance with my father. Yeah, by Teddy Pendergrass. Yes. Luther Vandross. Luther Vandross. Luther Vandross. Luther Vandross. Yes. Yes. Mm. I don't know why you like that song. <laughs> I, love, I love the song. I love the song. And today okay. it's for fathers. It's oh, for, for fathers. fathers. Yeah, fathers. This is a oh, special boy. shout out to oh. Abwe Doria's father. Ah. Ah. <laughs> you know, say that you'll be my party man, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes, that those kids, you. that is what I call yeah. you. Yeah. Oppressing the oppressed, oppressing the suppressed, and the more good. He yeah. knows all this. Yeah. <laughs> that is my dad. Those Mr. Eswana, hey, 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 hey
a dance with my father. This is a beautiful one. It's dedicated to all the fathers out there, all the men out there. If you're a father, it is a beautiful thing to be a father. If you're a husband, it's such a beautiful thing to be a husband. Consider yourself beautiful. Consider yourself wonderful. May God bless you. Amen. And having said this, sir, I want to appreciate you Thank and you. your beautiful wife Thank for coming you, here. Thank you, sir. And then tonight, and then next time when we call you, please make yourself available like this. We'll always be and available. Good, oh, good. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so, so, much. so much. And signing out tonight, uh, okay, please. I need you to understand that Radio Maria is registered on that NGO as such, does not run on profit. So, and that's why we're doing what we call 500 monthly campaign. That means you can give us as 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 little as 500 naira per month, as a 6,000 in a year, 1,000 per month, 10,000, 100,000. It costs between 45,000 to uh, million. 45 million to 65 million to keep the station running in a year. So as as the Lord leads in your heart. So please do that. You can also connect your 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 tithes. You know, it's still a house of God for the purpose of evangelization, and it will be going into the account. And then you can send us um, a message uh, uh, requesting for the details, and then we'll send you all the details you need. And then Reverend Father Ame will take your prayer intentions with all others and be praying for you. And then they'll place it at the altar and continue to pray for you anytime and every time. And God will bless you. Signing out tonight, my name is Brother Nambi Obiechina. And then with me in the studio. Yeah, just before then, we also want to say thank you to those who have been supporting. Mm -hmm. It means a lot to us. Yes. Um, we appreciate you and God loves you. And want to say thank you to all our callers today and those who were unable to call mm -hmm. in. And my name is Iswana Jin Abuedoya. And Aaron uh, Samson, the other Susan president of CMO. And it's Lady Patience Haruna. Lady Patience Haruna. She's the CWO secretary. Yes, second, oh, ah! second, yes, yes. Yes. Thank right. you very, very Thank much. You. May yes. God bless you. Thank, Thank you. you. So much. Thank, Thank you. you. And to the studio and, managers. Ah, Kelechi Shidera and the Guadalupe. special one, Guadalupe. Thank you so much. Yes, thank, thank you, thank you. you. All right, thank you.